Ben! Evan and I are here at the river today to pan out the crushed rocks I crushed yesterday. We're gonna see if there's any gold in that quartz from the Fraser River. Hopefully we can identify where that gold is coming from at that Fraser River claim. Solve the mystery of the gold. As you may be able to hear, we're right underneath the freeway. So there's a lot of traffic noise going by, but it's a nice easy place to get to at the creek to pan in a nice, beautiful, sunny spot. And I forgot my hat today, so I might get a burn. Mm -hmm. But it's only one or two pans I have to do. Anyhow, I'm gonna get the cameras all set up and sit down and start panning out and wish me luck. I hope we find gold. So I've got all the crushed material. If you haven't seen the video yet of the uh, of crushing, I did. I released it yesterday. Here's a link somewhere in this video right here. You can go back and watch me crushing this stuff. Uh, but I've got the bucket full of crushed stuff here. I'm gonna pan out today and see what it has in it for gold. Now I have three different cameras going. I've got Evan up here videotaping me with my cell phone. I've got my camera over here uh, on the tripod in the river, uh, filming the pan itself, and I've got my glasses on. So hopefully we get lots of good footage of this stuff being panned out. Now this is a hard rock crush, obviously. This is quartz that we've crushed up, and apparently a leaf. And I pan it out very similar, very, very similar to just regular plaster material. Stratify it all down, make sure it's all nice and wet in there, no dry pockets. Whoo, this water is chilly today. Speaking of chilly water, Evan, what did I do the first time I stepped in the river? You filled up your boots. I filled my boots, yes. I stood in the hole and got wet feet. Okay. Washing off the mud right now so I can see the material itself. Nice quartz there. Cool, cool, cool. Now, if we find gold in this material, it is going to tell us a lot. It is going to solve the mystery of where that gold is coming from on that claim that has gold where it shouldn't be. If we don't find gold in this quartz, it tells us pretty much nothing because it's such a small sample from one of a hundred different court scenes there. It tells us basically nothing. So, if there's gold, it tells us everything. If there's none, it tells us nothing. Let's hope it tells us everything. Get some good footage there, Evan? Yep. Okay. Oh, where's that sunshine? It's been around so I get the sunshine at the back. Look at that. Pyrites everywhere. But no gold in the first pan. Little chunk of quartz and pyrite. No gold in those pyrites yet. Okay, let's keep going. Come on, gold. Come on, gold. Mm -hmm. 
really want to solve this mystery of where this gold comes from. Because if I can get identify where it's coming from, I might be able to find a whole lot more of that big, big coarse gold that everything I know about the gold in the Fraser tells me it shouldn't be there. And yet it's there, so there's got to be a reason. About a week ago I posted a video about uh, looking at the gold under a microscope. Again, there's a link here somewhere in the video. If you want to go back and look at the gold under the microscope, go have a look and see what it looks like. It gives me indications that it's probably coming from a quartz seam very close by. God, there's a lot of traffic. Come on, gold. Come on, gold. Uh-oh, Evan. No gold. Okay, one more pan worth. One more pan worth. Lots of pie right here. It'll be good if we at least find something oh, in this pan. There's my other boot. I just filled my other boot. With dirty water. Dirty water, yeah, gross. This water is cold. You are recording, right? Yeah. It's been recording the whole time? Mm -hmm. The whole recording thing says it's recording? Good, good, good. This quartz was taken from the quartz seam that was right at the spot I found the most and biggest pieces of gold. Right there. Those pieces were laying right against this quartz seam. So I'm hoping they eroded right from this quartz itself. And that's why I chose this spot to pull all the quartz from. Hoping that it eroded and just stayed right put and didn't move at all. However, this is the last pan full. Let's mm. see what it shows. Gonna move over to the sun side again. There's all that pyrite. Lots of pyrite in that quartz. Nothing. Well, unfortunately, that's prospecting for you. A good theory, but it doesn't pay off. Oh, that's right into the light. Oh, right into the light. Okay, I'll move around again. I'll move back. So there might be a court scene somewhere else that you haven't noticed yet. You're right. There might be a quartz seam somewhere else on that claim that has the gold. Or even this quartz seam at a different spot could have the gold. But right there, it didn't have it. So as I said before, if it had gold, it would tell me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, because it has no gold, it doesn't really tell me whether or not the quartz seams had any gold in them at all. 
The mystery continues. I will figure it out. I will. I promise. I will figure it out. It could just be someone who dropped the, all their gold there, right? You think someone just uh, <laughs> dropped a little gold pouch in it? Uh, yeah, it could be. <laughs> that would explain why there's so much big gold right there. If you find a pouch, then it could be. <laughs> find a leather pouch there? Yeah. Or a shattered vial of gold. <laughs> shattered vial? Yeah. If you did find a shattered vial, you would start panning where it's shattered. Yeah, I would. <laughs> well, everyone, I know you wanted to see gold in that pan. So did I. However, no luck today. But that's what prospecting's all about. Next time... There's a fly on my head, isn't there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next time, let's hope for some gold in the pan. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like my video and say something in the comments about my panning of this crushed quartz and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel do so and hit that bell icon so you get your notifications thanks to all my uh, patrons out there for supporting me without you guys I won't be able to do all these YouTube videos so thanks you guys are awesome and if you do become a patron I'm posting lots of behind-the-scenes videos to my patreon account so my patrons can see sort of how I make these videos and what else goes on so become a patron there's a link here somewhere at the end of the video until the next video